G'day and welcome to Hogs, Cogs and Two Aussie Flogs, the greatest podcast this side of Paris. Oh, that's uh, that's uh, topical, mate. Yes. Paris, the home of the Olympics. And also, <laughs> boy, has there not been some controversy about P- Paris. Yes. Uh, especially the so-called woke uh, opening ceremony. With the somewhat taking the piss out of the uh, Christian community, yes, yes. some would say. Yeah, yes, yes. And, and, and that leads us to our, one of our main topics tonight, mate. Yes. Right up. We've got a huge show, by the way. So uh, get yourself a beer, get yourself a cup of tea, get yourself comfortable, because quite frankly, this could go on all night. <laughs> <laughs> but wokeness, we're talking about wokeness at the Olympic Games, mate. Now, I turned uh, the YouTube on the other day, and there was one little video that said, uh, Harley Davidson goes woke. Two days later, my whole feed <laughs> is flooded by people doing Harley Davidson goes woke, and there yeah. seems to be a lot. So, so I did a bit of research, mate. Do you want to know what I found out? Probably the same thing I found out, I reckon. I think so. <laughs> it's a little bit strange, mate. I think it's a little bit strange what's going on. What is going on in Harley Davidson land, mate? I don't. Well, they, they, they seem to have gone down there. Okay, let me just let me just calm down. Yeah, it might take you a while. Mate. So, across the board, with any of these publicly listed companies, mm-hmm. they're all doing the same thing. They they all seem to think that they you know, so they don't get cancelled. They have to toe the line, and they they have to all of a sudden pander to a to a rather small minority of mm-hmm. of, of, of people in, in across the board, right? Mm-hmm. Now, but shouldn't I, they just pander to their customers? Well, that would be the that that would be the uh, that would be the, the idea. Look, it, to me, it comes back to this. It's like, it, it's like being in business, right? You don't, you don't, you don't oh, spend. No, no, I worked for the government. <laughs> <laughs> you don't spend ninety percent of your time worrying about ten percent of your work, worst customers because if you do that, you you, you run a hiding to nothing. You may yeah. as well negate the worst customers and 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 move on and concentrate ninety percent of your mm. your efforts on your best customers, mm. right? So, uh, for those of you that haven't been on the interwebby net yep. and had a look and, and, and seen all this, there's, there's a few things that have, they say that Harley Davidson's gone woke for the, for, these are some of the reasons I can see. So, apparently they are a platinum, and now I don't know how you're a platinum founding member, yep. but apparently you're a platinum founding member of the LGBTQ plus XYZ yep. Chamber of Cop, I didn't even know there was such a no. thing. What the hell's an LGBT? Well, Do they have a heterosexual chamber of commerce? I mate? Would just have a chamber of commerce. Well, like, you that, would think it. so, wouldn't you? Now, can I just preface this by saying I have got no problem with anybody who's gay. Well, you can, mate, you can do whatever you want to do, right? What well, I whoever have, you want to do, whoever you yeah. <laughs> I, I don't care. We, and, and, yeah. I, and neither does Whitey. We, we don't care about that. What we talk. what we don't understand about is what, why all of a sudden do these? And it's not just Harley Davidson. It's, it's nearly every major. You know, corporation. Uh, corporation out there and government. Yeah, you see, I expect it from government because go- government's full of uh, basically sleazy, weak minded, gutless people yeah. um, who are just so terrified that they'll be voted out of office that, that, that any little threat must be met with an immediate capitulation. Yeah. Uh, that's called government. Yep. <laughs> so, how I understand, <laughs> but I don't understand a company like Harley Davidson who's built its reputation on. Sticking it to the man. Well, they're definitely going to be sticking it to the man. <laughs> <laughs> not, not that there's anything wrong with that, apparently. Um, but yeah, I don't get so. So they're a platinum founding member of the LGBT Chamber of Commerce. I, the only thing that actually surprised me there is there is such a thing. Yeah. Uh, they are hot. Openly supporting the Equity Act, and the Equity Act apparently is the one that says, "Oh yes, uh, uh, how do we call it? The new women with testicles should be able to race against the uh, in women's sports." And again, that's just ridiculous. Oh, you're you're transphobic. No, well, it, <laughs> it is just honestly, it's just it's illogical. Like like boxing, for example. 
<laughs> We're going to go back to the Olympics. Yeah. Man, you, you, put a blo- you put a bloke in there who's been a bloke oh, for, know, for, for 25 years of his life and all of a sudden he's 12 months having a uh, gender rearrangement or whatever you call it, and all of a sudden he's, he can, he's allowed to compete with, against women. Is well, he? That is absolutely ridiculous. I know. I've seen some good women, mate. Eh? Yeah, well. Shape, but they might not be able to wrestle, but you should see their boxing well, abilities. Well, well, well we, and again, I'll go, if you, when we're talking about this equality bullshit, I'll go, I'll go down to the, the, the very uh, topical point of what just happened uh, with, uh, with Trump and, and getting assassinated or to, to attempt to be assassinated. The women that were at the front there, I mean... Take take everything out of it. I don't. You know, if she doesn't have a holster or a gun, I, that's beside the point, right? Listen, you shouldn't be having a go at the the camp lunchroom lady. She did a Listen, magnificent job in that suit and those cool glasses. Well, look, uh, be that <laughs> as it may, if you're assigned the job that you've got to put your body in front of a bloke who's six foot three or six foot four, I would think. You need to have a bloke that's next to her or somebody, a woman, who's six foot three, six foot four, because that way she's going to cover him. Trump stood up and the Sheila standing in who was protecting him would come up to his frigging nipples, hey? right? So he sh- whoever was well, going to shoot he, him he, in a clear he, line he, of sight straight to the He was gallant, mate. He protected her. Yeah, well, anyway, <laughs> that, that's getting back to this whole equity thing. Like, mm. And that was part of the Secret Service's uh, manifesto was you know, that they wanted to... The equal number of men and women. We are, um, but this is the thing: when you start You're a this sexist pig, oh, no. when you start <laughs> this crap, which is what Harley Davis is doing by, 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 you know, saying you have to have you have to have X amount of people from from every, every different you know nationality, uh, sexual friggin' um, orientation, orientation uh, um, you know, uh, race, uh, um, uh, well, just, gender, yeah. whatever. What you're doing then is you're precluding the best person for the job. Now, whether that's male, female, gay, straight, Asian, Caucasian, black, I don't care, you need to be getting the right person for the job. You're and it's wound a, up, mate. You yeah, moved my well, microphone. Yeah. Well, it's the same with this rubbish here, right? <laughs> this business of, you know, like, one of the things they had there was, you know, re- story time with, with uh, trans, uh, transvestites. Drag, drag queens. Drag queens. Is, 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 is there anything wrong with... <sighs> You want to go watch Slay Girls, by all means, go watch Slay Girls, yeah. right? Yeah, but, but don't wh- send your seven-year-old to it. No, why? You know, <laughs> what, what, uh, I'll ask this question, right? Because somebody, somebody actually had a crack at me with this once before, right? And she said, you know, uh, how would you feel if it, w- if, it was, um, if it was bikies reading story time to the kids? I, I said, I would be asking the exact same question. Yeah. Why on earth would a group of bikies, be, be they... Whatever, one percenters, uh, freaking ninety-nine percenters, like I said. Why would they want to be going down to a library and reading story time to seven-year-old kids? It doesn't make any sense to me, right? It, it, I'll tell you why. The only reason it is is to is to influence. I don't like children, <laughs> so I wouldn't do that. No, but the only reason <laughs> is is to influence or to to put a slant on their on their. Agenda. Uh, uh, yeah, no, no, on, on a, a child's mind, mm. because children at that age are like sponges, right? And that's all it's for. And it's, again, it's a small minority that all of a sudden be- come to come to uh, the forefront and fruition because everybody's too scared to say, no, it's not right. So yeah, that's exactly what I would think it is, though. It, it, it's not that they actually even believe this stuff. No, it's a virtue it, signal. Uh, it, it is virtue signal, and it, it's just basically corporate cowards. Yes. Going, oh, look, the easiest way to do it is to just... We'll just put up I mean, apparently they put them through three weeks of bloody... Uh, like some sort of boot camp for... Yeah, for, for yeah. To, hey, what was it called? It was to, called the LGBTQ Plus Entrepreneurship Boot Camp at the corporate headquarters in Wisconsin. I, why? I, I don't know. I don't know why anyone would do that. I'd just go and you know, stick your job up your but, ass. But, 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 no, but this, is, doing that this is the other thing. Even if you're catering to that community, yeah. right, why does it have to be an LGBTQ plus whatever um, thing? Just send them to an entrepreneurial school. Here's an idea. There's plenty of gay have, people have, out there that are business have, people. Have a school that just says, be nice to other people. Yes. Not just be nice to a certain quadrant of other people. Oh. I don't I, now, the question is, do, does anyone actually give a stuff about this sort of thing? And from what I can see online, there are people selling their Harleys. I ain't going to do that. No. I ain't going to do that. But let's not get carried away, people, okay? Yeah, I mean, worse than that, I, I heard one person say, I'm going to India. <laughs> <laughs> but What are you thinking, mate? But again, going back to that, right? So, so 
I mean, what purpose does that serve? It does nothing. It, it does nothing, right? And you can say, oh, yeah, but it punishes the, it, it punishes the company and lets them know, yeah, I, yeah, okay. But five years ago or four years ago, mate, it was all the, the Black Lives Matter thing. Yeah. Now it's all the transgender or the LGBT. What's yeah. it going to be in another three years? It'll be years something else. Time? It'll be something else. Yeah. But the one good thing that happens, management at every company changes. Yes. All right? And Harley Davidson has <coughs> outlived previous management. They survived AMF. Yep. And they'll survive this... Uh, Jorgen Zykes, mate. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm, I mean, he's basically stated that he wants all Harleys to be electric by 2030. Yep. You know, that's six years away, yeah. mate. I'm holding, on, <coughs> I'm holding on to my free because, quite frankly, they're going to go up in value. But I can't see that happening. You're- it's just not going to happen. But that he's got a an agenda of saving the planet and all. The, he's a big believer in all this climate change stuff. And whether you believe it or not, that's up to you. But yep. to, to force it down everybody's throat, I don't care. If someone wants to go and buy an electric bike, go for knock it. yourself out. Yeah. But I couldn't. I can't give a rat's ass. But you won't see my ass on one for a long, long time. I'm not interested. Look uh, again. Where's the fun in that? Where's yeah, the look? You can have fun in electric vehicles if I mean, they got they got the, the pickup of what it, and and look, it's going to happen. Look, it, it, <sighs> unfortunately, like I keep saying, the combustion engine is a is a, is a dead man walking. Yeah. But until they come up with a better solution than something I can go 100 kilometres on and then go, I've got to wait four hours to charge it. Yeah. I'm, I'm not interested, yeah. right? Um, and, I, and I don't think elect, electric vehicles are the way to go. I, I think there's a massive problem with electric vehicles, that being the, the, the trying to dispose of the batteries. I saw a grouse hydrogen motorbike the other day, mate. Hydrogen is the way to go. Unfortunately, the rear of it looked like, like mate, with the panniers were about four times as wide, three times as high. It looked like a, the Starship Enterprise on the arse end of it. But, uh, but the, you know what? The, the, I mean, Progression. Yeah, you, exa- you, you think of the first motorbike that came out compared to what it looks like now, right? Yeah. It's a completely different thing. And, and same with cars and all the other stuff. So it, it, it will come. But... You know, this business of, of, of pandering to every minority that's out there, honestly, it, you are you are on a hiding to nowhere to, to failure. Yeah. Right? You have to you have to cater. And you know who the winner's gonna be? The winner is gonna be, for a start, it's not gonna be Buddy Arlie Davidson, because they'll go fully electric and someone like Polaris will take up the buddy challenge and everybody will move over to that because they don't want... Those that don't want an electric bike yeah. won't. And those that want an electric bike ain't going to buy a bloody expensive Harley electric no. bike because they'll go and buy, I think it's called Zoom. Yeah. And uh, they provide they can provide a bike that's uh, pretty good already, apparently. Um not, not not good enough for me, but good enough uh, for about uh, eight grand. But well, this, this, again, this, this again comes back to government and go- government, you know... Just getting doing things that don't need to be involved in, forcing people to buy things that don't want. But you know what? If you want an electric vehicle, go and buy the electric yeah, vehicle. Not but, but not out. everybody wants one, so no. you, you don't force well, no one wants to sit, it. go off. You, you imagine coming home, you mate, you're on your way home from work, you're knackered. All you want to do is get home, and your missus has had got the chicken and chips on. And, Ah, shit, pull into the petrol station. I'll just uh, queue up beside the four cars because there's no way we're going to have yeah. enough electric stations. Yep. So there's four waiting in front of you and each of them is going to take 30 minutes. So, you, sorry, love, I'll be home in two and a half hours. Yeah. Stick that right up your clacker. Yeah. Up. It, it, I'm it not just, interested. At this point in time, it just doesn't nah. make any sense whatsoever, nah. right? And it, like moving forward, maybe it will one day, but I still don't think, I, I personally don't think that fully electric is the way to go. I think it needs to be a, a hybrid and probably hydrogen. I was promised a 22,000 gigawatts Motor. That's what I want, mate. But going back, blender on the back of the bike. Going back to this, this, this other stuff, right? This, this, yep. this woke business. Again, like I said before, this, this is uh, this. Nobody really means it, right? That's the sad part, isn't it? No, is that they don't actually believe it's it. Just, no one believes it. It's just it's somebody just in HR covering. Yeah, it's just somebody in HR said, yeah. "Shit, we better yeah. we better make uh, decide on it, and it'll be a flip of the coin. We better decide on what we're going to do here because." Shit, we, we might get cancelled here. And, and this is the thing. 
Every the, all the, this this crap, this bullshit cancel culture, mm. mate. They're like seagulls on a chip. Mm. It's it, and and what it is is they never follow through with it. They just they just pick and pick and pick until somebody capitulates and businesses go bust. And then okay, let's that done. What's our next agenda? Yeah. Okay, let's go into veganism. And let, when it's not that, <laughs> let's let's go into you know, like we said, Black Lives Matter. And yeah. you know what? Like we keep saying, mate, all lives matter. Yeah. How about you just leave us to do what we want to do? And if you, as I said, if you want to buy an electric bike, buy an electric bike. If you want a petrol powered bike, get a petrol powered bike. If you want a, I've got a hybrid car, mate. Yeah. Now, recently got it. Very good. Very nice. Saving me a lot of money. But I never have to plug the bloody thing in. No. Because I will. I'm not being. I'm not tethered to be bike for me bloody gloves. I'm certainly no. not going to be tethered to a friggin' power socket for me car. No. Stuff that. And I think that's the way to go. Uh, you know, a sort of a hybrid. Yeah. Would be fantastic. Uh, I'm not sure how you'd do it on a bike. Quite frankly. Um. The idea of pulling up and plugging a bike in, I don't think is, and I think I've said this before, I said, I think in relation to bikes, it's more like you'd have a power pack that you'd pull out and you'd swap. Yeah. A swap and go power pack. Yeah. Right? And then you, know, you get 500 Ks out of it. Yep. Plug a big block battery in the side of your bike, and take you yours out and hand it over to the attendant, and you're off and away in about two minutes flat. Yeah. Uh, you're not going to be able to do that with a car. No. Because you're going to need um, 30, 30 of the bloody yeah. things. But you, 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 they might be able to do something like that with a bike. Yep. But, uh, again, we're not having to go at anyone from any of the different uh, alphabet communities. We're no. not having to go at anyone that likes to wear a dress. Well, uh, we're we're not... just having to go at the whole, you know... The hypocrisy of the it. The hypocrisy of the whole yeah. thing and, and, and the forcing it down everywhere's throat. And, and really, what the hell does this have to do with motorcycles? Yeah. You know, unfortunately, these people were... This is high on their agenda. Uh, they think it has to do with everything. Well, no. All I want from Harley Davidson is a good motorcycle. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, instead of giving me, you know, yeah, all this crap, give me a, a nice set of suspension, uh, some decent brakes, some handlebars that don't look like they belong on a wheelbarrow, yeah. and I'll be a happier man. And look, I, I'm not. I, and I'll pay the untold amount of money you want for it. Yeah, I, and, I, and I'm not, um, you know, saying that we, you know. Yeah, don't employ gay people or don't employ. No. Mate, we're not saying that. No, we're not saying. But you don't have. There's no reason. I'm not sure what it's got to do with anything. Yeah, quite frankly, just. Yeah, I couldn't just, care what you do when you're on your no. time off. But yeah. it worked. Did and, your and, job. And the thing is that with the yeah you know, with with the, and let's face it, it's the loopy left that, that yeah. seem, seem to be doing it. And I, I don't want to be, be political, but it's it, it, they're trying to be inclusive, everybody, but they're being divisive because of it. Because what you're doing is, you, like I said before, you're precluding the normal people, or, or the, you know, the, the 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 vast majority of the population. Don't you know, really give a shit about this sort of thing. No, we, nobody cares. Nobody like, cares. You can do what you want Just to do. Just live your life. You, yeah, do what yeah, you we, want to we, do. We, we've happy. definitely gone past the old, you know what they used to call poof bashing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Luckily, we've gone past that. We've yeah. moved on. Everybody's in title to do... No one gives a toss. No. I mean, I mean Christ, you can go and get legally married at the same yeah, sex now. Yeah, whatever. Good, good luck to you. Why should you be any happier than the rest of us? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but this, this forcing it down people's throat and this... I just don't understand what a company has to gain from it. No. If you can tell me what Harley Davidson gains from this, are they going to suddenly have a massive influx of transgenders come in and buy their bikes? No. I'm tipping not. No. All right? Go This weekend, Sturgis starts, mate. And I think it's been two episodes since I mentioned Sturgis. Yeah. So, well, mate, I've been there twice now and I can tell you, there wasn't a massive... Representation uh, of representation. The... Now they might have been there. Yeah. They might have been there, but they were just walking around like everybody else, yeah. as it should be. Yeah. Everybody walking around doing their own thing. Everybody was happy. Harley Davidson, stop with this shit. Yeah, we don't need. No, no one's interested. Just build me a. Decent and for that bike. matter, not just Harley Davidson, but the national, the national bank, the Commonwealth Bank, the ANZ Bank, the the government, local government. I said, uh, mate, I'm <sighs> government or a lost cause. Um, because they are just, they just pander to the lowest. And even going pander back pander to the gone. Olympics, let me tell you this, right? <laughs> and like, uh, th- this is, th- they won't do it. They won't do it to the Muslim community because they know they'll get a rise that they won't want. Yeah. Because that, those guys will go hellfully. They'll, they'll, they'll end up killing somebody, right? Mm. Because they they take it that seriously. They do it to, to, to the to the 
Christian community because they know it's 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 easy pickings because they're not going to get a big rise out of them. You might get a couple of uh, priests not happy about it, mm. but that's all it's going to be. But it's the same thing. It is exactly the same thing. And this is the same thing here. Why push these things down people's throats when you, they don't need to? Mm. You don't need to. You know, of, of all the things, why would you pick? You know, the Last Supper photo. Yeah, and they think it's funny. It's not yeah. funny. Not, not, no, they, think it's, no, they think it's cute, mate. They look, think it's clever. Yeah, it's I'm, not clever. I'm yeah. not. I'm not. Not religious in any way, shape, or form, what, mate. But yeah. you know what? You don't take the piss out of someone else's as far. Well, you no. can. You can have a bit of fun, but there's fun. Yeah. And then there's just being nasty about it. Being a cockhead. Yeah. You've been a cockhead, yeah. right? And, and, and everybody should get up in the morning, look in the mirror and go, today I'm not going to be a cockhead. That's exactly that right. That would be a good thing. Yeah. And, that, and, and, that and the, whole, the world will be a much better place. Yeah. Don't care. Left, right, up, down, black, white, purple, yeah. and brown. And the same thing. Don't give a shit. You're mate. allowed to, be you human. Know, you're allowed to have opinions. You, you're, you're allowed, you know, people are allowed to believe, believe you know, in, in, in... Anything they want. In, in, in right-wing yeah. politics, in left-wing politics. doesn't matter, right? You can, you can have an opinion. Doesn't mean that just because you do that, that you you should be demonised or in, in either way. Well, that's the problem at the moment, though, isn't it? Is, is and, and America is the perfect example oh, of, the, of a place that's so polarised. You're either this side or you're this side. Yeah. You know, me, I go to the football and you you yell for your team and you you hate the bastards on the because I'm a Carlton supporter. So yeah. I hate the Collingwood supporters, but. Twenty minutes after the game's over, you're standing at the bar at the pub, yeah, we're not gonna, and you're not saying gonna... to the bloke, "Jesus, you kicked our ass, or we kicked yeah. your ass, or whatever," and you, and you should be able to have a beer about it and, and move on, and just be man enough to, like, you know, it's and, like and we let... say, we don't. It'd be like us turning around saying, "Well, the only people that can ride with us, you must have a Harley Davidson rag light." Yeah. Not interested, no. Or, or it would be exactly the same if we said, oh, well, "You know what? We, we, we're Harley riders, but if you want to ride with us." You know, we don't want any more Harley riders. We only want the ones that are, aren't as well represented. So we want Indian riders, we want Yamaha riders, we want Honda riders because they're not as heavily represented in our community. Mm. That's what it is. That's exactly what it is. Yeah, and quite frankly, I think it should be the way we actually have it, mate, which is... Like, Everybody yeah, is Turn included. up on whatever you freaking yeah. like. I don't care, mate. Yeah. And I don't understand why the rest of the world, and especially corporate, can't see that. Yeah. Like, everybody needs to just... Calm their farm. Yeah, back off and yeah. think about life, right? Yeah. And, I, and if look, someone can tell us that we're wrong, do so in the comments. Yeah. Get in the comments and say, no, you're full of shit. You, you should should do this because ABC. Well, if nothing else, it'll be a bit of fun I'll, in the I'll, comments. I'll tell you this. If there's any uh, uh, vitriol in the comments uh, inciting uh yeah, things against against that'll be removed. It, it'll be removed. Well, it won't we're, go we're, up. we're not yeah. putting up with it. We, this yeah. is not a witch hunt for any specific part of the community. What we're what we're saying is it's a it's a. It, and you know what I find is it's it's not the like I know plenty of gay people. Yeah, they don't. They, they think this is all a load of shit. Exactly. You know because they go look. We just want to live our lives. Leave us alone. Um, but this is this is virtue signalling people. Who have a bigger agenda? Yep. And quite frankly, I'm sick of hearing about it, yep. mate. And whether that be from Harley Davidson, whether it be from whoever, a- any company, the government. But I'm not. But let's get something straight. I ain't selling my Harley because of it. Because I'll give you the tip. Two years down the track from now, this will be an ex- this will be an old conversation. Correct. And we'll be going. Imagine. Remember those when those, those days when those dickheads were doing that. Yep. Like you know, we had the same thing. Previously, about other things, and yep. and it'll just be it's just whatever the virtue signalers are looking for this week, yep, you know. And I'm over mm. it, yeah, I'm seriously. Over. And you know, while we're going, we, we noticed it today, so that's enough YouTube videos about that, people, because I've, I've, I've watched enough and it's, it's getting boring, yeah. <laughs> and the other thing is, too, this this flag business, <laughs> we went past the school today, there must, there must have been eight flags. Out the front. We did. That right? was quite funny. Just have one, fl- just put the Australian flag up there and be done with it. We don't yeah. need f- 10 flags. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You, you, I, mean, I didn't know what half of them were. No, I mean, you don't have. And I you, don't care because. You don't really have five different passports, you have one passport. Mm-hmm. Same thing, you have one flag. Yeah. For Christ's sake, it's still yeah. that hard. Yeah. I don't understand what all the. All the what, you know, again, it's just bullshit virtue signalling, it's not mm-hmm. making a difference. It's not, you know, if 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 a bloke, yeah, you know, if people want to think a certain way, they're they're always going to think a certain way, yeah. right? Yeah. You you can change your way of thinking, you can soften on lines, but it, all this business, it's like these um, the, the the stop oil people, 
Right? <laughs> Do they honestly think by lying in the middle of the road and stopping everybody from and going and gluing themselves to the floor, yeah. they're going to make everybody believe? What you know what? Made. I think you're right. I think I'm going to I'm going to go sell my my oil uh, guzzling car. Guzzling car. I'm going to go buy a bike and push bike everywhere from now on. <laughs> yes. Right? It's just it's not going to happen. They're doing more harm than good. But, but well, to their own cause. Yes. And I, I think there are ways and means, and 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 all this crap is just. It's as I said, though, for me, for for a big company like Harley Davidson, concentrate on selling motorbikes. Yeah, put your put your time and effort into producing the best motorcycle imaginable uh, possible. Release it at a reasonable price, and no one gives a shit about the rest of his stuff. No, exactly. And if they do care about it, it's got nothing to do with their motorcycle life or no. their. You know what I mean? No, exactly. It's, 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 what you need to, what, everything what, what, doesn't have to permeate into everything. Yeah, what they need to be, they need to be the best company possible. Yeah, that's all they need to be. And by being the best, that, that means look after your staff. Yeah, no yeah. matter what they, no, no matter what they are, yeah. look after them. Send everybody to the same courses. Don't put a line of delineation saying you know we're, we're doing a this week. Well, it's, they actually it's, it's, apparently it's a, they sent all the white males to this course. Oh. Only the white males. Yeah, went to. A, it, mate, I, I don't understand anyone hanging around and doing it. I'd have gone stick that. Uh, wait a second. Wait a second. Where's yeah, how come, where's, come? Where's Barry? Yeah. Why is where, he coming? Where's, where's Barry from the? Uh, what's so that? again, no. you're talking about inclusiveness, and you're driving a division. In, yeah. like, it's the biggest division ever. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that's our take on all the weight bullshit. Um, we're not selling our Harleys. No. But we do think that corporate Harley Davidson are dickheads. Need to pull their head in. Yeah. Oh, they just. Dickheads, mate. I mean, they're wondering about wh- wh- where the next dollar's coming from. Well, if you're wasting it on all this crap, uh, what do you expect? Anyway. 100%. I suppose they'll just put the price of a friggin' invent another 32 different accessories and 426 more T-shirts. <laughs> ah, speaking of spending money. Yes. Yes. The 2024 Aussie Bikers for Aussie Rat Kids Raffle. I want to give you an update, mate. So last episode, we announced the Aussie Bikers for Aussie Kids raffle. Uh, 400 tickets at $20 each. Uh, about 140 of them have already gone, mate. In, 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 I think it was five days. In the first five days, we've gone through 140. So if you want one, get online now. The link is in the show notes. You go straight to it. Click, click, click. Next minute, you're $20 short. Yeah. And... The tail gunner will send you out your ticket in the mail. Everybody's been starting to get them now. We've been getting a bit of feedback on it, mate. It's going to be drawn on the 11th of December on our live last show of the year. But if you want a ticket, you're going to need to get in pretty fast. Yep. And this money is all going to... Bikers Against Child Abuse. Yep. And uh, Team Laid Back for Country Hope. So both of them are obviously for kids. Yep. Um, team Laid Back is for kids in the bush with that cancer, have, with cancer yeah. or you know they're really crook. Um, it's you know it's about uh, helping their families be able to uh, spend time with them down in the city, getting you know helping kids uh, you know with transport and all that sort of stuff. So that's yeah, doing great huge. things. And obviously, bikers yeah. against child abuse is pretty self-explanatory. Yeah, this is the sort of thing that some of these companies should be putting their money. Hundred percent. Spend it on something that's actually going to do some good. Make a world. difference. Yeah, make a real difference. And these, if you buy a ticket, they are going to make a real difference. And I'll tell you what, Lisa said to me the other day, she says, hey, listen, these couple of people have bought five tickets because we said if you buy five tickets, we'll sell them to you for just $100, yeah. mate. <laughs> yeah, it's... Which was pretty good. Yeah. So you get five times the chance of getting win- winning the prizes. And we throw in a Hogs, Cogs and Two Aussie Flogs sticker. sticker. Yep. So you can't go wrong. Buy five. Yep. One's not a one's an uneven number, mate. But yep. five's an uneven number. But it's a good uneven number. So hundred bucks worth. Fantastic. And we've had a heap of people do that. So we really appreciate it. But as we said, one hundred percent of the profit from these tickets goes to is the... going to those two things. So yep. the only money that will come out of that eight thousand dollars we're raising yep. 
is the, the basically the money it's costing us to uh, produce it, which is yeah. you know, buying the raffle tickets and paying. Uh, you know, there's a small, very small commission on. Well, that. the raffle tickets we we, we, yeah. we, we we pay for, but it's it's the yeah yeah we pay for them ourselves. It's the commission that does, it doesn't actually come to us. It goes yeah. straight to yeah. uh, the company that the yes. online yeah the yeah, online bloody, provider. Yeah, what's the name? And we can't we can't. No, so, unless you, unless you and that's, that's only going to be a little amount anyway. Mate. Yeah, it's it's small amount. So hopefully we'll be able to get around about. I reckon we'll probably do three thousand eight hundred. Yeah, maybe three thousand nine hundred to each of those two charities, which yep. will be absolutely fantastic. I know you spoke to Drac Russell the other day. Yep, he's uh, blown he, away. He, he's wrapped. Yeah, absolutely. And I know the boys from and girls from Bikers Against Child Abuse are uh, very very appreciative. And mate, so that, that amount of money, all you people, not yeah, us. That that amount of money really makes a difference to the yeah, those. They're, they're only small. Organisation, so that amount of money really makes a difference. Yeah, as yeah. we saw with uh, with bridge builders. Yeah, hundred percent. Yep, hundred percent. Wasn't that a great result? Fantastic, mate. Uh, the state of the state, the state of this state. Yes, we've been out today. We did. <laughs> <laughs> it's Where, it's there, not getting any better. It's it? not getting any better. And um, well, look, no, no, I tell you, it is getting. The, 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 we saw some repairs that w- had been done. Yeah. But I tell you what, some of the places we went to, the highway out to Ballarat was a whole lot better than it was eighteen yeah. months ago. Yeah. I'll give them that. Uh, and they've done, it looks like a patchwork quilt. It's it a was, patchwork quilt, but they've done big patchworks. Yeah. So they've done big repairs. Yeah. And that seems to be holding up. However, oh, mate. we we thought we'll go. We'll, 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 take, well, we'll, take, we'll take the Midland Highway, yeah. see what that's like. Well, what happened was, is is what brought this on is, once again, it's made the media. Yep. So uh, last, uh, I think it was last night on Channel 7 News. And Channel 9. Yeah, and Channel 9. But Remotorists on Channel 7 News, they had residents this. are speaking out over the state of Victoria's most trouble-plagued roads. The worst 20 have been named and shamed as the Allen government faces new pressure to step in. They're hard to miss, especially if you're driving in regional Victoria. The government needs to address about 6% of the roads each year to keep on top of that cycle, and we're not seeing that uh, 6% being achieved year on year. The Melba Highway from Coldstream to Ye came in as our worst country road. Tilden Woodend Road took second place, followed by roads in Gisborne, Shepparton and Portland. A stretch of the Western Highway made the list, as did the Bass and the Princess Highways and the Great Alpine Road. They're not fixing the roads and wasting billions of dollars on cost overruns on big projects in the city and the rest of us are driving around on goat tracks. 7,000 drivers took part in the RACV questionnaire and they say if the roads can't be fixed, speed limits should be reduced. It comes after the state government funded less than a fifth of what was previously spent fixing the crumbling road network but the minister says it's not their fault entirely. We've got more trucks, we've got bigger and heavier trucks out on our road network and whilst this is terrific for the economy of regional Victoria, it is having an impact on our road network. The survey also found that the number one safety concern on our roads used to be the behaviour of other motorists, but that has been well and truly overtaken by the condition of our roads. It's not just about potholes, it's also about road design, poor overtaking opportunities. Chanel Valor, 7 News. So, so there you go. They've identified the 10 worst. So how do we fix those 10 roads, mate? We, <laughs> well, we wait for some member of the public to come along yeah. and spray a bit of paint around yeah. it. Drop and ride together. holy shit before we, dro- we 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 drop we drop the Isn't speed it? limit down to forty kilometres an hour yeah. on, on a on a on a road that, that on a road a, that we are paying for, yeah. right, and have paid for. Should be hundred kilometres. Should be hundred kilometres an hour. But we went out, mate. And the second worst in the road, though, in the state, yep. they said, was the... Uh, the Wood End to Tilden Road. Wood End to Tilden Road. So well, we, we went for a little drive up the Wood End to Tilden Road, didn't we? Well, we didn't even get there until before... Well, before. yeah, we left Ballarat. <laughs> uh, fair dinkum, mate. Let's have a look at the footage of what we saw today. So we're here just having a look at some of Victoria's country roads, which, look, we've been banging on about it for a while, but... We just thought we'd revisit it. We just thought we'd revisit it and have a look. We've just come over to the crest of a hill. Yep. Have a look at what we've found here. So this is we're on the way to Dalesford, right? Have a look at this. Have a look at the size of this. Stand in it, Wadi. 
I could freaking sit in it, mate. Yeah, well, but it's not, you know. Jesus, I can fucking be, I can be buried here, mate. <laughs> Are you kidding me? But look. So that's me, me phone on its side. Right. That's me. That's Man, ridiculous. That. And it's not just the hole, though. No. It's not just the hole, because look at what's happened with the... Look at what's happened with the, the bitumen. Yeah, it's just pushed bubbled up. up, pushed up on the side. So you've got, look, a, look at that. You've got an eight-inch hole here. You've got another one on this side. Mate, look, that's, that's the car driving around it. Yeah, yeah. That's a, that's a, wid that's a widow maker. Yep. Now here's the issue we have, like, like we just said, that's the crest of the hill. So if you're on a bike, you come over there merrily on your way and yeah. bang, that is right in your, in, on your line. Yeah. And especially if you've got the sun in your eyes or something, yeah. you, you, you would see it at the last second and you'd be screwed because, you know, no matter how good your suspension is, that is that's ridiculous. <laughs> that's insane. So this is, this is literally the first road we've come down just to see what it's like. And Amazing. we are literally, we've literally just left Ballarat not more than a minute ago. We've come over the hill and that's what we've seen straight away. Yeah, it's insane. That is insane. Number one. And we've snapped and solved it as well. Yep. I'm just not sure how it's ever going to get fixed because, as we know, the government's broke. They're putting millions and millions of dollars into, you know, roads underground that go nowhere to where no one wants to go. Well, hang on. And, and, we, and, and the rest of the state's roads are like this goat track. Yeah, they've just spent $153 million investigating how men feel about women's pain. Oh, that's important. Yeah. So yeah. 153 million bucks, just let that sink in. <laughs> like, come on, people, what is going on? Have a look at this. This is the state of the roads in Victoria. Have a look at that. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> my oh, my God. God. What? Mate, that is... Uh, so what we're seeing there, though, is that the tar is only about two millimetres thick. <laughs> Ridiculous. Righto, so we're literally 800 metres up the road. And it doesn't get any better, mate. Well, the worst part about this spot here is it's actually under the shade of the trees. Now, I'll spin yeah. you around. Have a look at that. Have a look. It's, it's hard to see because of the shadows. Yep. But look at the, the height difference. Right, so that's actually about that high. Yep. So you've got a dip in the road here where it's basically compressed all the bitumen and it's all just formed a massive lump for an entire... I mean, have a look at it down here. Look at this. Oh, this is ridiculous. Look. <laughs> you know, you, in the morning, heading towards the sun, you go to overtake or whatever or you hit that you're gonna know all about it on a bike yeah and this is what i mean we're in, we're in the shade you literally cannot see it all right mate well this is just near uh this is near tilden yeah it's a lovely Woodham. bit of road mate uh, uh, uh absolute shows us the mastery of uh <laughs> vic roads and you know this bit of road has been known about for what months now oh, so much so that they've reduced the speed to 40 kilometers now because that's how we fix something as it gets worse we just lower the speed until someone's walking in front of your car with a bloody flag <laughs> have so, a look at this have a look at this okay. yep hang on there's a truck coming let him go past first An 18 wheeler yeah. going over double Watch white out. lines yeah. <laughs> to avoid this shit. Yep. Have a look. Yep. Have a look at this. It is literally 
it is literally falling apart. Yep. And has been happening as such for at least 12, I think it's about 12 months now. Yeah. Now, the thing is this, right? We, we can walk, I mean, this goes on for like, I don't know. 100 three, meters? Yeah. And I mean, look, look at the chunks of shit coming out of the road. Let me have a look. You know, that's just insane. And this is the thing, Whitey. We got trucks going on the wrong side of the road over, on, double, white over, double, over double white lines to try and get away from it. Yeah. Again, look at this here. Look how much it's raised up. Look. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, can you see that? Look, that's just, there's a hump there, like. Yeah, it's a six inch hump. You know, look, the condition of it is just, hey, look at this, it's lifting up again here. Yeah. Look at how rubbery it is underneath. Yeah. I can lift the actual road. <laughs> and that goes up, and again, see there where, you, where the, um, the, and, 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 and the shadows on the road or well, that that road is just as bad there and therein lies the problem and we were t talking about it on the way here it's the fact that there's shadows all over the road yeah. you actually can't see yeah, you can't have confidence in the road no because you know you come across it's just not a matter of if but when and what what could possibly take 12 months to have something like this fixed what yeah. what, what possible reason would there be yeah. for not being able to do it get there it is, done there is none mate there is none there, this is just governmental bloody ineptitude yeah absolute garbage they ought to be thrown out simply because of the state of the road spot frankly yeah it's a it's a it's a disgrace a disgrace yeah. Look, and they tell, all, all we ever see on the media is people crapping on about, you know, oh, people are getting their rims damaged on their cars. Well, we're burying motorcycles. Yep. You know, look at the size of this shit that's coming out. Yeah. Size of your fist. Solid rock. That gets spat up by a bloody truck. Yeah. Imagine you're riding along and that gets spat up by the truck in front of you and it hits you in the bloody face. Well, mate, especially that first one. I mean, the other two were, were crap, but that yep. first one where you were able to actually lift the road up <laughs> by the tarmac, the tarmac, which was wafer thin. Yeah, yeah. It was just, I mean, if you'd come over that rise and hadn't been concentrating or the sun was in your eyes or something and you'd have hit that, that was an eight inch, basically like running head first into an eight inch gutter. Yeah. That will damage a car. That will kill a rider. Now, the problem with that is, too, like we, said, we highlighted, is you come over that crest and you're on it. And it's the very line that you're going to be <laughs> coming on. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's horrendous. Yeah. Absolutely horrendous. And, and somebody's obviously had a, had, a, had a crack at fixing it, but did an absolutely horrible job. Oh, but, uh, but, but they had a crack at fixing it. That's yeah. a crack at fixing it. Yeah. Mate, I've never seen a worse. That's, that's probably... Probably one of the worst potholes I've ever come across, and it's now been there that long that it, that whole road is now registered as being the second worst in the state. Now, mm. it's there wasn't that much of it, it was bad, it was just like two 30 meter areas and then one maybe 80 meter area. Yep, well, how can that be to fix? Well, I don't understand why it's taken, it's taken at least 12 They'd to be better months. off just ripping it all up and putting gravel down. Yeah, it would be safer. Yes, now, not only that. You've got B double trucks going on the wrong side of the road. Over double white lines. Yeah. Two buses two. going over double white lines. Yeah, to get around it. Yeah. Right, and that's and that, they're doing that right where a um, where a uh, a railway crossing is. Yeah. So yeah, it's not like they haven't got enough to worry no, about. It's friggin' that. insane. They're doing that. It, it is insane. So, so the question we've got here, I suppose, is what are are the government doing about it? And the answer seems to be very little. Yeah. I mean, I seen the paint. Uh, sorry, I saw the minister for roads on the telly last night, and she was saying, <laughs> "Oh yes, well, since COVID, there's a lot more trucks on the road. So now we're no longer blaming the water. Yep, it's not weather now because it's not weather now. We're not blaming the water. We're now blaming the trucks. Okay, so well, who pay massive amounts of registration? Yep, to fix the roads. 
Not so only that, where's that money going? Not only that, they're actually in charge of the registration. Uh, they, they can actually see what's getting registered. That's right. And, and when, right? Now, a little uh, thing you can do is just print off how many trucks uh, how many trucks we've got registered this year. Yeah. Shit, that's a lot more than we had last year. Yeah. Maybe we need to put a bit more money into the roads, the road yeah. upkeep. Yeah. Um, because... Well, we have it. They've reduced it by five times or something. Yeah. But now, if there's double the amount of trucks or whatever is coming, that means the double the amount of registers have come in, mm-hmm. right? So that means that's that should cover mm. some of that cost, right? You would think so, wouldn't you? Yeah. But it's been squandered in so many ridiculous places. Like the last one I saw was uh, one, $153 million was spent on how men feel about women's period pain. Men being... Women, uh, men that are trying to freaking go into, uh, 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 what do they call it? Transitioning. Transition. Yeah, yeah. So how, how, how? They can't have period pain. And please don't tell me they can. They can't have a baby. They can't have period pain. They don't, don't you oppress them. They can't have a period, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's, 153 it's, million. You are oppressing people left, right and centre tonight. Mate. <laughs> Imagine 153 mil to fix the roads. Far mm-hmm. out, right? Now, on top of that, we discussed this as well. We're still paying. How much is that freaking safety levy? Sixty-seven dollars a year. Sixty-seven. So every bucks a year. rider in Victoria is paying a sixty-seven a, a safety levy. Yep. Uh, I think. What are we getting for that, mate? Uh, we're getting nothing. Nothing. We're getting nothing. No, so I've got a I've got a bit of an idea. Yep. And, I, and, and we're gonna we're gonna work on this a little bit because we've spoken a lot about potholes and we've spoken a lot. And there's not a lot we can do. You know, I mean, you can have a you can have a march on Parliament House, I guess, but how often do they actually achieve anything? When you're a minority like the biker community, yep. uh, they've already shown their contempt for us, mate. So, but I'm thinking we've got to look at some sort of uh, protest or, or um, petition, a petition, a petition to have that sixty-seven dollars removed because it's an insult to us. They're not. A, they're not. They're not actually uh, doing it. So I'm going, I'm going to look into that, and we we might talk more about that next yep. episode. Yep. But to me, that sixty-seven dollar safety tax is an absolute disgrace. It's right up there with the luxury car tax to protect the Australian car industry. Oh, we don't wait. make any car. We don't make any. We cars don't make any cars yeah. here, but we're still paying the luxury car tax to protect yep. the Australian car industry. That's bullshit. Yep. It's just look. It's it's taxed by any other name. Yeah. It's just a lot of crap. It's yeah. not. A, it's, it's 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 not a levy. Put a name and levy on it, and as if you're, you're actually solving a problem. Yep. Well, when none of the money is actually going back into road safety, because I, I'll, any minister can come on here and tell me where that sixty-seven dollars going, and if it ain't going just into the uh, internal the, revenue, because all that revenue, revenue, I'll go he, because I ain't seeing any of it. No. Because if they were, if they were honest, and if they really, really wanted to reduce. Motorcycle deaths in this in this state or any other state. What they do is all that sixty seven would be put into one bucket and said we are going to do bang. We're going to introduce proper rider training. Yep. And then when you did your proper rider training and you were accredited, you would get a reduction in your rego. Yeah. And that would encourage people to go and do the extra rider training, which in itself would save lives. Yep. Pulling people over and giving them tickets. Because their handlebars are a little bit too high, or their boots are a bit too loud, does not save a single life. No, it's a load of crap. Yep, it's not a road safety measure; it's a revenue raising yep. measure. Yep, that's all it is. Yep, and I, you can tell me till the cows come home, I won't believe anything else. No, you know what? Oh, even, I'm you getting know a what? bit worried. Maybe it's a bit of a negative uh, <laughs> thought. Like this but you week. know what? Even if that sixty-seven dollars, even if it didn't give you a discount off your off your off your, uh, off your off your your insurance yeah. or your or your rego, well, even yeah. if it was as part of getting your license, you 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 were taught, you know, some really good rider training yeah. as part of your as part well, of your. Well, at the life. moment you're taught, and I'm an ex rider training instructor. Yeah, yeah. Right? I used to do. You taught how to pass a course. Pa- uh, uh, well, it pretty much did. There wasn't a, a there was no advanced training skills, no. and there, and there really can't be because you've got to learn to ride a, a bike. To the lowest level yep. before you can advance to a higher level. Yep. So I don't have any super problems. I mean, it would all be nice to say that we're going to, you know, you go off to get your learner's permit and you come out like Wayne Gardner. Yep. But that ain't going to happen. No. So, but there's, mate, what they do at the Everybody knows advanced rider training, those that have had advanced rider training have got a, a, a better chance of survival yep. out there on the road. And now talking about, and I hate to do this, but. <laughs> 
<laughs> for the thousands at home. And uh, zero in today's audience because it's bloody it's chilly. It's a bit chilly here in the old uh, Studio One today, mate. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to grumble. Uh, for the third time in a row, mate. Oh, I know. I have a grumble. Yep. Far away. And this one really, really pissed me off the other day. Because I was on Facebook and I was looking at one of the one of the three thousand seven hundred and twenty four bloody uh, motorcycle uh, Facebook groups that I had there, so that I can keep an eye on what's going on. And someone posted a, a link to the Brimbank Police Service area mm-hmm. iWatch. Now, let me tell you, if, if you don't know what iWatch is, iWatch is basically the online version of Neighbourhood Watch. Yep. Basically, everybody that did neighbourhood watch is so old, they're either dead or incapacitated <laughs> now. So they can't get anyone to do it because uh, millennials and, and, and anyone around our age just haven't got time. Yep, not so time. neighbourhood watch was dying. So they bought in this thing called iWatch and basically it's running each different police service area. They had this thing and they put up items of interest, you know, we... We caught this person doing this and we caught that and we're keeping an eye on this today and yeah. put your safety belts on, usual. But this one, it had a photo of an ambulance with a motorcycle on its side and it basically said, and I quote, yeah. that uh, the reason, one of the reasons there's so many motorcycle accidents is because motorcyclists don't think it could ever happen to them. Yep. Oh, that's easy, mate. That's solved the problem of all the road deaths, hasn't it? Yep. We just, we are just stupid. We don't think it's going to happen to us. No. Mate, you could imagine what my house was like that night. I wonder I why. I went off like a frog in a sock. I wonder why we spend money on, you know, lots of money on road, road, road safety. Uh, yeah, like all, all jackets and. Helmets. And pants. Boots. And boots and gloves. And no, we, you know, we, we're just doing that to look cool, mate. Yes, yeah. So. And the the thing that really pissed me off, though, yep. because I don't know who the peanut was that wrote this thing. Yep. I don't think it was a copper. I just got a I just got a sense from reading it that it was someone that talks to the the, the coppers, and yep. then he goes and writes all this. Some some crappy little public servant, yep. right? Because one of the answers, someone said, "Well, where do you get this from?" Yeah, it's not like yeah, you know, and 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 he wrote. Oh, well, maybe it's because the officer I spoke to has 27 years of experience attending serious motorbike collisions. Yep. Well, thank you to that police officer for his 27 years service, but don't tell me that the first thing he asks every motorcyclist who's on his ass after yeah. an accident, <laughs> oh, mate, did you think it could ever happen to you? Oh, no, never thought this would happen to me, <laughs> officer. Right, I'll put a one down for you. You're a, you're a negative. Yep. For 27 years he's been doing that, mate. Yep. Bullshit. Yep. Bullshit. It's not a thing that they would ask you. No. And it's just stupidity. Every rider goes out there knowing that it could happen to them. And for these dickheads to get online and say that that's what the majority... It said the majority of people he'd met yep. thought that it could never happen to them. Bullshit. That's not a... There's no facts. There's no statistics to prove that. That's just one peanut's opinion. Well, the, and I'm the, sorry if he thinks that he's a peanut. The thing is, everybody that we talk to or, yeah. is constantly talking about the the, the poor driving that they're yeah. dealing with. Well, of course you know it's going to can happen to you. Of course it can happen to you, mate. And uh, yeah. but the thing that annoyed me was that when this other peanut that wrote it yeah, came back, we've, we've, he was making smart ass comments and like, goofy faces and, and goofy stuff. faces yeah. after it. And, uh, yeah. uh, mate, the public, you work for the public, guys. Yeah. Okay, and if they are not happy with your, the service you're providing, maybe you should look at the service you're providing. And the service you're providing in this case was bullshit yeah. because it was it's, it's it's not based on any statistical facts. Nothing. It's based on one guy's opinion. Blake's probably a senior constable that's been in the traffic branch for 27 years. Yeah. And uh, well, but this is the thing. You know, as soon as somebody asked, you're for... not an expert, you know, because let's face it, there's a difference. You've ever been in, 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 in? I know people. They've either been in a job. 27 years, or they've been in a job one year 27 times. times. Yeah. So uh, I don't put any credence on that, but what really pissed me off was the smart-ass way this guy was answering. Yeah, and the thing is, people ask a legitimate question, okay, where, yeah. where, where, where's your statistics on this? Yeah. And basically yeah. what they were doing was, was ridiculed for asking the question. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's a legitimate question. It is a legitimate question because it's a bullshit statement. Yeah, you can't just again, you know, again, it's tarring everybody with yeah, the same friggin' brush. Yeah, and, and it just and, and what it does is it projects that that is Victoria Police's opinion, and yeah. and uh, I would be very hard. I, I've sent a thing off to the police media. Yeah, all right. And uh, I also sent a thing off to the Ethical Standards Department and said, maybe have a look at this peanut. Yeah. Because, quite frankly, it is just a stupid comment to make. Yeah. But as I said, I, I, people make stupid comments. Don't care what colour uniform they wear. They, yeah. might, they can make stupid comments. He might be a public servant. I'm pretty sure this guy was a public servant from the looks of it. Yeah. But then to come back and to... Be a smart Be a smart ass. Yeah. On, by the way, a page that we're paying for, mate. <laughs> All right, you don't pay for it. Yes. The government doesn't pay for it. We, we do. fucking pay for it. Yeah. So, my, my my calming down now. Yes. My grumble is to the author of that initial post who came back and was sarcastic towards valid questions from members of the public. Some of them might not have been put. Very, uh, but you know what? That's your job, mate. Yeah. Your job is to cop the shit, basically, and well, if give, gonna, a, give an answer. Yeah, if you're going to put it out there, yeah. you, 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 you've got to, you've got to yeah. expect some, some comeback, don't you? Exactly. <laughs> and, and just to me, that's just an uneducated um, post Yep. made by someone who doesn't know what they're talking about, and uh, it deserved the criticism that it got. Yeah. But to come back and then shit can people, uh, not good enough, uh, Mr. Patton, I think his name yeah. is. Yeah. Not good enough. Anyway, that's my grandma. Have you that's calmed a, down there? I... <laughs> <laughs> just, a, just a little. Just a little. Feel, feel better now. No, that's good. Um, where are we at here? I need a route. Yes. And? Well, we haven't had a route for a while. No, we haven't. And, but... We did get two more in in our Great Australian Route Competition. I yep. think that's what we should call it. We were going to call it the t- perfect two week ride, but yep. I reckon it's the, the, the Great Australian Route. Yeah, yes. We, we might have to change its name to the Great Australian Route. Australia's greatest route. Australia's greatest route. <laughs> so, uh, just a reminder. And the, that, per- we could, the person who wins the competition, they could be Australia's greatest router. Yes. <laughs> We will get you a T-shirt, mate. We will get you a T-shirt. I'm Australia's greatest router. Yes. That'd be good. We'll do that. So, for your shot at the title, for some really good prizes, that are, trust us, there'll be good prizes for this one. And, again, this will be drawn probably on the last episode yep. of the year. Yep. All you've got to do is give us your best two-week route. Yep. And if you can last two weeks, you do better than You've me. done well. You've done well. <laughs> but, uh, yes, so do that. Our e-commerce site went off, mate. Yep. With the raffle tickets particularly, yep. it's it's absolutely become an absolute godsend for yeah. us because <laughs> it calculates everything and tells us how much of everything we've lost. Spits we've ordered dress. some new T-shirts. Yes. Uh, we've ordered some new T-shirts, so there's a couple of people waiting on T-shirts at the moment. We apologise, but we're just waiting on them coming back from the printers. Yep. We will get them to you ASAP. The link to the store is down the bottom. Go and have a look. Um, we had a ripper deal the other month on the laser cut man cave signs. Cogs, cogs and Tourzy Flog signs, so they were really good. Yep. Um, but yeah, have a look. If you haven't got one of them, you've got to get one. The they are cool, aren't they? And the patches. We've got heaps, yeah. of, got heaps of these patches. Still. Here we are, I've got patches here, yeah, mate. Got got patch patches. Right here. Plenty of patches, yep. plenty of stickers. I actually ordered some more stickers the other day because we're yep. running a little bit low. Stubby holders. There's a few left there. You, you can't, you can't, you can't go wrong with it. You've no. got to have a hogs, cogs, and two of these flogs. I need a root stubby older. Yep. Get amongst it. It's easy. All right. So that's good. Um, Biker news. <laughs> there is some big biker news this week, mate. Yes. Yes. Mate, I'd only just. The heart rate had only just slowed mm-hmm. and it only just capitulated down to, you know, uh, resting level. Yep. So ba- beats a ba- basically the tail gunner walks past and say, you're still alive. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting there quietly enjoying myself, watching a little bit of humorous American politics, mm-hmm. when all of a sudden I get a tech, I get a bing on my iPad. Yep. 
And uh, a message has been sent through us from Alan Turner, the uh, bloke from Zadie's Foundation that runs... Blessing of the Bikes. Blessing of the Bikes, saying that the Blessing of the Bikes, I know they'd already cancelled Ngambi, well, now they've cancelled Geelong. Basically, Blessing of the Bikes is no more. And Alan's, uh, Alan's explanation in that was uh, was pretty much threefold. Uh, yep. One was lack of motorcycle dealer support. Uh, one was sponsor lack of sponsorship, mm-hmm. and number three was lack of volunteers. So they were the three things that he said. Now, I've spoken to Alan, and yep. I've clarified a few things because there's a couple of people that went, "What are you talking about, Willis?" And what he's saying is. For this year's event, right? Okay. Not in previous years, yep. But for this year's event, he states that he had uh, basically no support from any motorcycle shops or basically anyone, um, and he's gone through a whole list of things. So people go, "Well, what does he need that for? What does he need sponsorship for?" A start, blessing of the bikes. And for those that used to know, you'd go down to. I, I mean, the first one I attended was down at uh, San, San Remo. Remo. Yep, had about thirty vendors, different types of things. It was a good thing. You went along, you went through all the vendors, bought a few things, looked at some really cool bikes, hit the pub. Yep, had a nice ride down, a nice ride back. It was great. COVID hit, and. At the time, Marcel from the Inline 4 Cafe down at Phillip Island was running yep. the Blessing of the Bikes. What a lot of you might not know is that at that time, he trademarked the name Blessing of the Bikes mm-hmm. in Australia. So he held the trademark for Blessing of the Bikes. COVID came and went. During COVID, the Inline 4 Cafe closed down. Marcel and and uh, his missus moved away, Mm -hmm. we thought it was dead. Along came Alan with the Zadies Foundation. Zadies Foundation is uh, basically an organ donor Mm -hmm. foundation, which uh, was named after his daughter, who was pretty much Australia's youngest organ donor when she passed away, sadly, years ago. I actually interviewed Alan. One of the first interviews I ever did on uh, the Vat Harley Cutler channel was, was with him. And he had very big plans for it. Uh, first one down at Phillip Island, he moved it from San Remo to Cows, and it was going to be on a uh, reserve, but unfortunately it poured that weekend. They lost a lot of money because he, he had massive ideas and he had chocolate starfish come along. Yep. And, you know, that cost an awful lot of money. He took a massive hit that year. And anyway, long story short, it ended up last year down at Geelong. Mm-hmm. Geelong... Uh, in his own words, have been very, very helpful. However, the costs of running it, and you might think that you just roll it, rock up, everyone parks their bikes. So, no, it's not that simple. No. So the, the cost of running the Blessing of the Bikes this year was around about $15,000, he tells me. Yep. Uh, in donations alone, they made about seven and a half. Yep. So basically the Zadie's charity... Lost seven and a half. Lost seven and a half grand yep. this year. Yep. Now, there's some criticisms of how it was run. And, but at the end of the day, it the criticisms are after thought. Yep. Everybody came, and those that were there, the 3,000 or so that were there, only threw seven and a half grand in the, bu- in the bucket, I guess. Yep. Yep. There were some complaints that he was asking for, you know, I think the first year he was asking five bucks a person. This year he was asking a gold coin donation and was trying to do it with sponsorship. Well, for, let's move forward to this year. There is no sponsorship. Yep. No one wants to sponsor it. He had little or no response from all the different businesses, uh, apart from, I believe, Geelong Harley Davidson. Yep. Um, who helped out and sponsored him last year, actually uh, put their hand in their pocket last year. Yep. But he's saying that basically the Zadie's Foundation cannot continue to, to lose money. They lost, I think they lost about 15 grand the first time they ran it. They lost seven and a half grand later. So that's that? the end of it. Yep. Um, and apparently the uh, trademark is now up for sale. Okay. However, 
I don't know if I'd want to buy it, mate, if yeah. it's going to lose seven and a half grand yeah, each yeah. time. Uh, that's me. Yeah. Someone else might be able to... Resurrect it. Uh, resurrect it. Um, but people are probably wondering where these $15,000 in costs come. Well, you've got about seven grand's worth of insurance yep. you've got to have. You've got to have public liability insurance if you're going to run a public event like that. And, and he, anyone he, who's a... not getting public liability insurance yeah. for an event like that is basically playing Russian roulette. And I honestly with think, their house. I honestly think that the 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 cost of public liability oh, for, 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 for for those sort of events where it's raising money for charities. Well, it, if three thousand bikers it, just rolled up to Geelong, there, there's there's no there's no there, issue. There is no issue. Yeah. But if you roll up and we're calling an event, there's now you've got to have seven thousand dollars worth of it. That's just the litigious. Uh, litigious bloody yeah. society we live in yeah. now, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, I mean, it cost him money for the band, apparently, and yeah. it also cost money for traffic traffic management. Traffic management. Yep. So the council did look after him in some ways, and but also it was it like cost, three grand's worth of traffic management. Plus, it also to, to, and to, then hire, to the, hire the hire the pier. Yep. Um, that, that was that was another three and a half grand or something. So there's a lot of cost involved in running an event. You know, like a, a lot of people have, have texted me and said, why don't you, why why don't don't you, do you guys run it? Yeah. You and Paul run it. We would love to run something like that, mate. But it's not that easy. It's no. not that simple. And we, I don't think we're making quite enough off the YouTube channel. No. <laughs> Might be able to pay for a hot dog for yeah. uh, <laughs> the first 10 people to turn up. So I'm not – look – I'm not saying there were no faults with. Yep. Uh, I think there was there was a number of things that that could have been done better last year, or, or and, and a number of mistakes were probably made. Ellen will probably be the first to admit that. Uh, but I, I just think it's too big a thing to be run by one guy, mate. Because basically, Zadie's is Alan. Yeah. Uh, and his missus and and a couple of little helpers. But reality is, it's pretty much Alan, and. I think it's a bit harsh for us to to you know to, to totally shit can him yeah. that it's been a failure. He's tried his very bloody best, um, and you know what? You some, know what? Some, I, I mean, I, as I said, things could have been done better. Yeah. Mate. Some, That's some, some, sometimes some people just ha- don't have the experience to be able to run those sort of yeah. things, right? And, and uh, you know what. It, everything's easy in hindsight, right? But, oh, hundred uh, percent. But uh, I mean, you know, you and I know it, yeah. it, it, just just to get a couple of rides off the ground is, is mate. It's it's it's, it's, a, it's a big thing. Yeah. And, and again, as I said, whenever you look at um, something like this this size event, you've got to have public liability insurance. It becomes a freaking nightmare. And uh, personally, I don't think. There should um, be. It should, it, it it should be a nominal be, it fee. It, it should be bugger all, yeah. shouldn't it, mate? Yeah. We're trying to raise money for charity here. Yeah. So a lot of people have said that, uh, oh, well, it was great before at Phillip Island and then since this new bloke took it. Well, it's a different, it's a different time. Yep. Things have changed a little bit. Um, and unfortunately, when you invite 30 vendors to turn up mm-hmm. and only six turn up, yep. um, what, what do you do? You know, what do you do? You know, I mean, that charity can't afford to lose that sort of money. So. And look, you know, this is not, this is not, this is, it's true. Victoria's mm. and Robinson Crusoe. I mean, mm. we were at the Burt Munro Challenge. Yeah. And it, I mean, that's probably one of the, especially one of the biggest events of the, yeah. in the world. In the Southern Hemisphere. And there was bugger all vendors there as well. No. I, 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 Trying to get vendors along is very difficult, mate, because the, the, the deal is, is, hey, you're running it on a Sunday. Well, someone's got to be there. So yeah. you've got staff to pay. Yeah. And, and you're paying triple time. Yep. Yeah. So someone like, say, a Harley dealer yeah. comes along, they've got to spend the whole time getting all their shit together and putting it in a van and taking it down there. Yep. They've got to pay their people to be down there for the day and they've got to sell enough shit or, you know, to make... And, and people go, well, why don't they just support the industry that supports them so much? I agree. I agree. I think sometimes these bigger com- big companies like Harley Davidson, yep. like Harley Heaven... Need to take a hit. I mean, really, what's three? What, 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 what's what's two or three people's wages for one day, even if it is triple times for someone as big as Harley Harley Heaven, mate? Yeah. See, I I don't think yeah. I, I don't think it, it should be up to the dealer to to I mean, the dealer should, can support it as well. Yeah. But I think Harley Australia, hundred percent, yeah, in their advertising budget should should have the the ability to say, listen, 
uh, if it's John Harley Davidson, for example, listen, uh, we're we're happy to cover you for th- you know for three staff for the day. We, yeah. We'll put it as part of the advertising budget. Um, and you, you, you get down there. There's three thousand people. Yeah, you know, the majority of them probably ride Harleys. Mm. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll chuck a couple of bikes your way for them to have a look at. And we'll we'll you yeah. know we'll chip in some t-shirts for for, you to, for yourself. Stick, stick the bike on a bloody pedestal in the middle with a with a with a rope barrier around it so that no one's touching it and scratching it. But yeah. but at least Geelong Harley Davidson kicked in last year. Mate. Yeah. Uh, apparently uh, the local Indian dealer. Yeah. The local MCA. Yep. None of the other motorcycle. Uh, groups wanted, uh, uh, sorry, businesses wanted to have anything to do with it. Yep. So it's not all down to um, mismanagement. Yeah, you know, mismanagement. Yep. But it's not all down to Geelong Harley Davidson. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Said, they they did more than their fair share last year. Yep. Uh, but what um, Alan so- says in his and, and he look, I, I trust me, I, I wrote him a six page letter and he came back and answered every single question as honestly as he can. So look. Um, yeah, there was criticism that Alan was very difficult to deal with. Yep. Uh, well, that's hindsight now, mate, I guess. Yep. I don't think that's why... I don't think the Blessing of Bikes wasn't a success. Mm. I think it could have been a whole lot better. Yep. There's there's a lot of reasons why. Why couldn't, I suppose, Alan get more vendors along? Yep. Well, only Alan can answer that. Yeah. Um, mm. you know, and he says, I asked... Everybody that was previously involved, because he was given a list of everybody who was previously in, involved by um, Marcel. Yep. And he says, look, I got the list of all the previous... That, that was all part of what I purchased when I purchased the naming rights. Look, I, I'll, and they all went, yeah, no, not interested I'll, at all. And I'll tell you another thing, right? I mean, this is coming from me. I, I'm in business mm. as well. Mm. Since COVID, it has been a lot... It could make, people took a big hit yeah. over that period, right? And, you know... They just haven't got the budgets, you know. The, 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 what they need to do is that they need to recover from where they were before, right? So, you, mm. yeah. Whereas before, you would have thrown a couple of grand at something and said, you know, well, I've thrown a couple of grand, we'll, we'll make it back somehow, and it's, mm. it's, it's, it's good for the injury. They just haven't got that money to, to throw yeah. around anymore. You know, yeah. that's 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 the problem. And, and we, look, every one of us would love to have a massive blessing of the bikes, or you know, like even, but even when we go to brighter days, mate, yep. the biggest event in Victoria. Really, there's like ten or twelve. Um, you, you, Harley Davidson turn up with a truck. It's yep. about the only thing I've seen them turn up to a truck with lately, and they do basically ride. So they're basically trying to sell motorbikes. And I, I just think someone like Harley Davidson has to put back. They, they're making enough money. Don't tell me they're not making enough money that they can't put back in. And without getting, oh, we're only doing it so we can sell some bikes. Well, they've just spent um, X amount of money uh, sending people to... Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> to, well, that's Harley Davidson International, but anyway. Um, but, you know, things like belt makers, leather goods yep. and, and man cave signs, and, and they had a bloke selling 44-gallon drums, which were converted into seats with nice Harley yep. seats. These are the sort of things that blokes love to get along and have a look at, yep. and the girls get, like to get along and have a look at, especially if you could get some bling, you know, motorcycle clothing and that. Yep. But it just seems that the support isn't there. Mm. And I'm, as I said, I'm not having a go at any one in particular. It's just like, and it's not it's just the, the motorcycle board, yeah, yeah. industry, it's everybody. Yeah. And I don't know. I mean, let's face it. We went to the 120th anniversary of bloody... Uh, uh, yeah. That was poor as well. Well, but I think they had the same amount of vendors there, about six. Yep. And so I don't know how... We get something like this up and off the ground. Look, if you've this, got ideas, chuck it in the show notes, chuck it on the Facebook page. But you know, I'll, I'll look. I, 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 I can tell you, yeah, coming from somebody who, who's in business mm. uh, and has been, you know, you know yeah. at, at, at an infancy in its business, mate. You, you want to support these things, yeah. but like, like you said, if, if you turn up there for a day. And even if it's you, it's yourself, yeah. right? It, 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 there's a cost involved, right? Yeah. If you do that and everybody comes there and everybody's, you know, and, and you make fifty bucks for the day, mm. well, it's going to make you think twice. Well, but you yeah. know, doing it again a, a second time—that's that, yeah. that's the thing. Now, you know, how do how do you how do you come up? How do you, how do you you know fix that? Mm. Well, two things: the people that are coming, you got to pick the right. If you're going to get vendors, you got to have the right vendors, and those vendors need to have stuff that is easily saleable. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, there's no point. Um, 
you know, you, you, you're turning up with, you know, with man cave well, stuff. We did, we did route grouse at last year's Bless in the Box. But mate. again, we're selling T-shirts. We right? sold T-shirts. We sold stubby olders. Yes. Simple stuff, yeah. right? It's no point having a man cave blokes ca- and coming with this, yeah, right? because how are you getting that home when you, you buy it? You, you can't do it. So, so you, you know, again, they, they, the, yeah. you would come there with, with small signs and stickers yeah. and that sort of stuff. That's the sort of stuff. So it's it's a, this is a... It's a, it's a, it's an all encompassing thing. You've got to, you yeah. need to discuss the whoever's running it. Who, who... I, I think what it needs, mate, is is not one person trying no. to run us an event that big. You need a committee of people, probably half a dozen people, at least. Yeah, at least half a dozen, maybe ten people yeah. involved in an organisation that. And you'd, you'd have to look. I understand. Like I never understood why it was being moved from the wharf yeah. to the showgrounds this yeah. year, but. It worked out well. If I have it in the showgrounds, I don't have to do the traffic. Ha- I don't have to pay for the traffic control. Yep. yep. You know what I mean? If I have it in the showgrounds, I don't have to pay the wharf fee. Yep. I don't have to have this, that, the other, and I can just hire the venue, which comes with its own insurance. Yep. So I can understand what he was saying. He said, but the problem there was that, that then people complained that there was a hundred meters of dirt to get to it. Yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> and the other thing was he said. The, and a lot of, and I've seen it a number of times. People going, well, he wanted to charge money. Oh, how dare he want to charge money? <laughs> you know, five dollars, but you five dollars to a vendor. Where else can you go for five dollars and have a good day out? Yeah, exactly. Even if it is just looking at bikes. At the end of the day, it's charity. You know, it's, it's charity. a charity for yeah. so so for any of you that did turn up to the blessing of the bikes and didn't put your hand in your pocket, you tight ass bastards. Yeah. I'm sorry, but you should. Yeah. That's the whole point of the blessing of the bikes. Yeah. Was to raise money. Well, for it'd be like going, it'd be like going on the toy run without taking the toy with you. Well, that's it. <laughs> yeah. Lisa just took a toy boy. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the news about the blessing of the bikes. Unfortunately, at the moment, it's in hiatus. Yep. Uh, as I said, he's got it up for sale, but who knows what will be the future of blessing of the bikes. Mm-hmm. Um, sad, because it was always a good one to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was always a good one to go there, and, and, and we really enjoyed it last year. Yeah. We, I mean, we were one of the six vendors, and we had an absolute ball. Yeah. We met so many flogs. Yeah, it was great. Um, especially the old, what was she, about 80-year-old woman that, yeah. that, that had to buy a T-shirt because she loved the fact that it had I Need a Root on yeah. the back. <laughs> she was a classic, wasn't she? Yeah, very good. How good was that? Yeah. So that's the news about Blessing of the Bikes down here in Victoria. Um, Chopper sent us something. Oh. And... So for all our New South Wales vlogs, take it away, Chop. Thanks, Whitey and Paul. We're on another road trip today. We're heading out to um, Penrith. There's some west side riders out there having a meeting point. Then we're going out to Windsor to a bike, trike and truck show. So hopefully there's some good trikes and some good bikes. I'm looking forward to it. All right, so I made it to the Vineyard Hotel, a few bikes. Love the old swinger.
found myself just chilling, eh? Hey? Check me out. Just waiting for the missus to do her hair and makeup. Got a ziggy bra. from bikers against child abuse all right hogs cogs that wraps it up for me bikers australia bike show so geez back to you what Paul. as always yep and and by the way chop was down last week mate he was he came down and i'm sure i'm not going to spoil any secrets but he came down to pick something up yep and whilst he was down here he visited you yes he did didn't visit me. No, he bum. called in for 20 minutes. Well, actually, actually, he was, he was yeah. on his way back yeah. and then said, I feel guilty. He, he came and said, said hello anyway. <laughs> so he was over this side of town and off he went. Yep. And then he straight away turned around, headed back. The guy's gone up and down the Hume Highway more times than bloody, uh, I don't know. More yeah. times than a stripper on a stripper pole. Hold that fort. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay, so... That's getting close, mate, to the yep, end. Yep. It's a, oh, well, I'm sorry that it's been a little bit of a negative show today. Well, what do you do? It has been a little bit, but... you uh, call it like it is, don't you? Well, it is what it is, mate. And uh, look, I've got to tell you, we have had so much feedback on the Facebook page the last couple of weeks. It's yep. absolutely... And in our YouTube actual videos in the, in, in the show notes... It's been absolutely fantastic. It's, it, I think some things are starting to come together. Yep. I think people love the fact that we can are now getting out on the road, yep. doing a few things out there, and uh, it stops me hanging around in milk bars, so it can't <laughs> be a bad thing. Uh, had a couple of people send me... I, I'm getting a lot of very strange Facebook friend requests, <laughs> mate. Uh, not, pretty, most not, of them, if I check them in and you're a biker, uh, I, I, don't from mind, I don't mind saying yes, but... Um, I'm not sure if the, the 42 big-breasted uh, Scandinavian women were actually bikers or not. They're only human, mate. Well, that's true. Yeah. That is true. Know that profile pic of yours. That is true. No <laughs> <laughs> mate, we... Um, I came over this morning. I, oh, by the way, I do have a little... A, a second... A, a, a mini grumble. Oh, here we go. Last week... Last week we did the winter show. Yes. So I came here this morning... Couldn't see the end of my street through fog. Three degrees, freezing cold. And I thought it won't matter because I'll be surrounded by fellow bikers who have been inspired. <laughs> you know how many bikes I saw on the way here, mate? None. <laughs> I saw one biker in the rearview mirror. Yeah. <laughs> my rearview mirror. Yeah. That was it. But it didn't worry me yep. because I had my, I had my tush was warm, yep. my hands were warm, yep. had me, me, me new Kamani, Kamani gloves, yep. me Corbin seat. Me Zaki's, me Zaki buddy top, me yep. me resurgence pants. Yep. Cutting through the fog with my uh, <laughs> hog, lights. hog light. Yep. On my comfortable ledger suspension. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've, there must I've, be, I think there I've must seen be one more in there. And my bike was running beautifully. Thank you to the Geelong tune Hull. that was done at Geelong Harley Davidson. <laughs> so that's it. There's all the advertisers done. Um, so that just leaves for today, mate. Uh, We've only got a couple of rallies, runs and events uh, for this week. And they're both for Saturday the 17th of August. There's a uh, an August group ride out to the Open Roads MSCS. Uh, I think it's Motorcycle Service Centre. Okay. That's leaving from Machine Alley, Motorcycle Social Workshop and Community Space. Yep. And that's going to go for three and a half hours. So that leaves at 9.30 in the morning, goes to one o'clock. So jump on the Victorian Rallies Runs and Events Facebook page. And if you're going to send us any events, please don't send them to Hogs Cogs. Join up with the Victorian Rallies Runs and Events. Yeah, it's we'll it's, it's basically run by me anyway. It's, it's just, just so it, it much, it much easier. So much, it's just it's one less easier. job I have to do. It, it makes it easier for you. All right. And then also uh, Bikes and Coffee in Mornington the, the, at the Sober Mule Cafe at 9 till 11 on Saturday uh, down in Mornington. Yep. So if you want to get up and go for a coffee with a bunch of other bikers, go and do that down at the Sober Mule Cafe in Mornington. Again, all details of that are on the Victorian Rallies, Runs and Events page, mate. That's been a uh, interesting show. Yep. I think my heart rate should drop about 
half an hour from Got now. Got some good stuff coming up. We're heading back down. To, Cole wants us to do some uh, we're, stuff we're down there. That, that'll be an interesting... Secret squirrel stuff, mate. <laughs> that'll be Secret interesting. squirrel stuff. We've got, yeah. to, we've got to... Actually, we've got a number of things we've got to do down there. That's... Uh, that's about it. Mm, I think so. Hold on. Yep. Yep, that's it. Well, that's it from me. That's it from me. That's it from Hogs. Cogs. And two Aussie Flogs. Ciao. Thank you.